Hello everyone, this video is just to present the 14 note laser harp that I've made. It's a framed laser harp, which means that um, all the sensors are enclosed in the frame. There are different kinds of laser harps. Um, obviously there's the big stage ones you might be familiar with, and they work on a different principle. But these have a, a row of photodiodes that will detect the laser light and detect when it's broken. So the lasers I'm using are very low power. Obviously, you can't see the you can't see the beam in the air. You can just see where it's hitting. So it's it's quite low power, and it shouldn't shouldn't cause any damage to anyone, even if there's direct reflections. Uh, this is a, an MDF frame. There's a bit of aluminium plate, and it's all powered by an Arduino. So I'll just take you through a couple of things it does. The the blue buttons here, they control the kind of scale you're playing. At the moment it's set to a chromatic scale, so I'll just play that for you. But it can be changed to a major scale, or a minor scale. Uh, there's a lot of different scales in there, but um, I'll just flick through. There's some arpeggios as well. So. <clears throat> Uh, the next set of buttons, the green buttons, these control the octave you're playing in. So this is our C, but I can skip down an octave. Um, or even an octave further, which you probably can't hear on this little camera microphone. Um, the red buttons control the the fundamental change of the scale, the, the fundamental note. So at the moment that's a C, but if I wanted to play a C sharp, I could bring it up to a D, a D sharp, and so on. Um, another thing about this laser harp is it's velocity sensitive. The idea of that being that if you play a note quickly, it will be loud. If you play it slowly, it will be quiet. So here's a loud note or a quiet note. So you have to be quite ginger with it. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. That covers all its functions. Um, I'll be presenting this at the Manchester Mini Make Fair on the 28th and 29th of July, along with a couple of other things, which hopefully I'll be doing videos for as well. So keep watching.